In this unit, we're going to study similar figures. In this lesson, we're going to study similar polygons and scale factor. Okay, hi everybody. So in this lesson, we're going to look at similar polygons and scale factors. So what we mean by similar shapes, what the word similar means here is it refers to shapes that have the same shape, but they have different dimensions, different sizes, if you will. Okay. So, but they're, but they're the same shape here. So it's almost like you've, you've got something and you've, you know, like you got a picture on your phone and then you, you zoom in. So the, the picture gets larger, but it's still the same shape here. Okay. Or you can, you can zoom out and the, the picture gets smaller, but again, it's still the same shape. We call those shapes similar. So the second shape that, that we're working with, so you're, you're going to have a given shape here. Then the second one that's similar to it is either going to be enlarged. Okay. It's bigger, or it's going to be reduced or shrunk or it's drawn smaller. But again, the shape stays shape the same the same here okay so a square stays a square it doesn't become a rectangle circles don't become ellipses and, and so on so if the shapes are similar okay then all corresponding angles in the shape here will be equal okay and corresponding so in the same sort of position right right and the word that we use for that in geometry is congruent meaning they have the same measure but they could be in a, a different location all corresponding side lengths will be proportional. Okay. So if, if one side, uh, when you go from the original to the new one, if it, it's twice as big, then every other side is also twice as big. All the corresponding side lengths are going to be proportional. Okay. Multiplied by the same factor, uh, to get the new, the new length there. Okay. Now corresponding sides and angles will be in the same relative position in both shapes, because again, the shape hasn't changed. Okay. And, and if we did, if we, if, if the sides kind of didn't correspond like that, then you, you would have a different shape here. You wouldn't really know how to compare those. So then little, little hint here, ask yourself, what magic number do I need to multiply by each old side length to get the new side length? And that magic number would be the scale factor. That's what we're going to multiply here. Okay. So before we get into some, some actual examples here that we're going to work through together here, let's just take a look at, at one here just to illustrate this. So these two shapes here are going to be similar. Okay. And first of all, we're going to identify the corresponding angles that are equal here. And we do that by the little, the little curved lines here. Okay. The number of lines that you see, uh, indicate whether the angles are going to be the same or not. So angle a and D, okay. Angle a is equal to angle D. Okay, so there's one pair of equal angles. Angle B and angle E are going to be the same. And finally, angle C and angle F are the same. Okay, so by that, basically, I, I know that these, these two sides are going to be similar. Now, the chorus, what corresponding sides are proportional to each other? Okay, well, proportional to each other here. I know that AB... And DE, because they're, look, they're, they're both uh, between the same two angles here, A and B, D and E. Remember, those are the same, those are the same. So we know that AB and DE are proportional. I know that BC and EF are proportional. And then I know that AC and DF are proportional. And again, it's because I recognize that they're in between basically the same angles there. Now, the scale factor from left to right, okay, is enlarged by a factor of two. In other words, if I know that AB is proportional to DE and I compare the lengths here, I know that the new one is twice as big as the old one. So I've multiplied by two. Now, is that true all the way around? Six times two is 12, seven times two is 14. So yes, it is. So that was enlarged by a factor of two. On the other hand, if you go from uh, the right to the left, if we assume that this is the original and this is the, the new one, then 20 gets multiplied by a half to get 10. 12 gets multiplied by a half, 14 gets multiplied by a half. So in other words, my, my uh, scale factor here would be 0.5, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Now let's take a look at some other questions. Okay, let's take a look at this question right here. So uh, in this, this is uh, as if I had enlarged the figure on the left to get the one on the right. So we're going from, from old to new here, okay? So smaller one to larger one. And the question is, 
what number did I multiply each side length by on the left to get the corresponding one on the right? And that's the scale factor. So let's just take a quick look at this. So in this case right here, what's convenient about this is the shape is pretty easy to, to follow here. Okay, we've got basically this trapezoidal sort of shape here. And so it's, it's quite easy for me to take that side that basically doesn't square up with the other ones and compare it to the same side on the other shape here. Because remember, I need to be comparing corresponding sides. So there's my, there's my, my side off at an angle here. It's six and this is 12. And the question is, what did I multiply the old length by to get the new length? And the answer is two. So two is my scale factor. Now, sometimes it's not easy to tell. So we use this formula and the formula here would be like your scale factor is going to equal the new length divided by the old length. Okay, but they've got to be corresponding. They have to be the same side on each shape there in order for that, that to work, okay? So now, let's take a quick look at it this way. What if you went from uh, the other direction, from old to new? And so this is the one that we start with. This is the new one. So our scale factor, again, is going to be old. Oh, sorry. I can't believe I, I did that. I just wrote it down, and now I've got it backwards here. Yep. Yeah. That happens. So this is going to be new. This will be old. And so in this case here, our new is going to be 6. Our old was 12. And so we've got a scale factor here of 1 half or, or 0 0.5. Okay. Now, let's take a look at another one here. Consider the two polygons below. Okay. So what scale factor was used to enlarge the left figure to get to the right figure? Okay. So... I'm, this is, based on what they're saying here, this is my old, this is my new. Now, to compare the rectangles, I, I've either got to compare the width to the width or the length to the length here. But let's let's compare width to width because I, I, mean, I pointed to that one first here. So my scale factor is going to be new over old. Okay, oops. Sorry, you got some bit of a mess here on the side. Uh, so my new width is 11.25 millimeters. My old width is 9 millimeters. So 11.25 divided by 9. So I'm just going to plug this into my calculator. 11.25 divided by 9. And I'm getting 1.25. Okay, so that's the scale factor that I'm using. I multiply each of these by 1.25 to get this one over here. Now, what scale factor was used to reduce the right image to the left? So now... We're saying, nope, nope, this was the old, this was the new. And so now in this case here, my scale factor, again, I'm still I'm still identifying it the same way. I'm still taking the new and dividing it by the old, but this time the new is 11, sorry, is 9, and the old was 11.25. So in which case, it would be 9 divided by 11.25, and I get a scale factor of 0 0.8. Now, here's one more question here. So Johnson works at a print, a print shop and was asked to enlarge a 4-inch by 6-inch photo to be a 30-inch by 45-inch poster. So what scale factor would he use? Okay, so this is going to be our old, and this over here is going to be our new. Now, without the shape, I'm kind of relying on the, the lengths here or the measures of the sides to get a sense of which one corresponds. So of the two original dimensions here, four is the smaller one. Of the two new dimensions, 30 is the smaller one. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to assume that these are the corresponding sides because it, it wouldn't make sense otherwise. So my scale factor is going to be new, whoops, new over old. Okay, so my new one is 30 and my old one is four. So now I go to my calculator 30 divided by 4, and it looks like we are, or that Johnson here is going to have to multiply the dimensions here by 7.5 to go from that 4 inch by 6 inch photograph to go to that 30 inch by 45 inch poster.